So here are my items. So <clears throat> in most surgeries, you can't just have them like this. They need to be put in the order that the physician works. So cut, remove, and repair. Okay, cut, remove, repair. So you have to put the items in that order so that they make, make sense for the physician. Okay, so there's a couple of things missing on my tray. So the first part is opening up my tray and now dropping the items that are not in here that my physician <coughs> needs. Okay, so that would be my suture material. So you would have no gloves on doing it? No. You don't need to until I start touching the items on here. Okay? Okay, in the meantime, this outside package is not sterile, so, so my hands are not sterile. Okay? Gotcha. So you need to do it up kind of high, not like this, so that it might fall off your tray, but high enough so that the wrapper does not touch your tray. And where it falls, it falls. Because everything okay. is sterile, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. okay. As long as it doesn't fall like out here, then right. we're okay. So you kind of have to be close enough, but not too close where the wrappers might touch. And right. sometimes gravity just, you know, <clears throat> does its own thing. Newman will be watching how you drop your item. If we tell you, oh, no, it's contaminated, you have to start all over again. Mm. Remember how crucial it is that these items are going to go into your patient's body. You're going to be touching their cavity, an open cavity with them. So risk of infection is what we're trying to eliminate. Okay? All right, so I dropped all my items in there that I needed in there. Keep your packages, okay, so that we don't have to waste. Now, I have to go in here and fix all this because my doctor's not going to, you know, just come to this mess. I have to fix it for him so that he knows, you know, he has everything in order. <clears throat> Sterile gloves. Let me set this aside for a minute. <clears throat> Sterile gloves always come in a little pouch like this, okay? The outside contents are not sterile, only the inside. <coughs> When you are thorough gloving, you have to fold the tabs. Everything has tabs to make it easier for you. Fold them and then pull out and straighten so that the tabs don't fall back and contaminate your area. Okay? So now the cuff part I can touch with my bare hand. I can't touch the fingers and I can't touch anywhere. Of the glove portion. Okay? I can only touch the cup. And where your fingers lay, that's where they lay. Don't worry about them. Not yet. Okay? Because I can't touch my fingers with my ungloved hand. So it's going to look a little silly right now. I probably should have got a seven. That's okay. But now you can touch that one, all the fingers. Yes, okay. I can. Okay. And I can touch the inside of it because it's going inside. Okay, so that one came on. Nice. So now that I have this one on, I can go back and fix the fingers on here. Good. Okay, which is kind of tight. Which size is that? The six. Six. Okay. It'll work. Now I can do all this adjusting to it because okay. I don't really want to touch here. I don't want to touch here. I can only touch this part. Okay. So now that I have that, I can touch my items on here. So I'm going to arrange them in the way that my doctor likes them. Sometimes you have to hold things up in the air, and that's fine, or all together is what I like to do so that I know all my stuff is contained. So I start with my scalpel because that's what I'm going to do. It's going to cut first and remove. So surgical scissors next. Sharp, sharp and a sharp blunt. This I don't need. 
I need stuff for him to grasp. So it's a little kind of just moving around stuff, trying to be careful not to drop items. So I have my scalpel, scissors. Does it matter what order you just put the two scissors in? Doesn't matter. Oh, okay. And then repair. And I'm also going to put my suture material here. My syringe is there. My gauze. You can put it on top. It's not a big deal. Fenestrated drape. Oh, actually, I'll put my towels. Two towels first. Towels. Okay. This one is what's going to lay over my tray and, over. and cover it. So I, I want to only grab the corners. Okay. And lay it over the tray. Because now my corners are considered contaminated. And everything on top here, this side of the towel, is contaminated. Everything underneath that's touching the inside of the towel is sterile. Okay? Any questions on that? Why would that not? Why is that not <coughs> non-sterile now? Because it's that. it's out to the open. But everything's been out to the open. Not not really. So when I'm doing this, I'm not coughing. I'm not talking over it. I'm doing it now because I'm explaining it to you guys. But okay. in a real setting, I would not. So I'm doing this very very quickly and then covering it so that if anything does, you know, if we were, if there was an earthquake and all these little particles, well, obviously it's going to be contaminated, but I'm going to try my best to do it really, really quick, cover it, and then be done so that everything maintains sterility. Okay. Any other questions? So Keep we're just getting comped on <coughs> to make the lift tray? This is step one. Oh. Okay. I that was say that was simple. Step one. Okay. So I remove my gloves. Also, when you remove your soiled gloves, okay, you always start from the cuff, okay, take all of, if there's blood in here, it all stays in there. I gather it with my other hand, kind of bunch it up, now I grab my other side, and everything stays in here, okay? All right, so these gloves are pretty much wasted. I don't use them anymore. I could use them again, just because we're, you know, here, but... <clears throat> in the real field, you would not be using those. Again, you would have another pair of gloves. Again, so a pair of gloves to set up your items and then a pair of gloves to assist with your physician. Okay? When you are ready to do the procedure, you are the last person who puts on their gloves. Okay? Because you're still going to be assisting. Are the... you going to be putting on your doctor's gloves? Like, mm -hmm. you know, you... So you're going to be... No, you put yeah. on stuff you so I'll them. have Miss Newman <laughs> be my assistant today. The medical sister, the medical sister. All right, Miss Newman, you want to come over? <laughs> so Miss Newman's going to be my MA. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so my tray is already... Okay. My tray is all set right here, right, waiting for my patient. And Amy, let me have you take this guy and put my patient there. Okay. So, oh, hi. So, um, take somebody. Um, <laughs> I, I want all of you guys to see, so it's kind of hard. I mean, I've already missed the first portion. Leanne, you've seen this demo, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> all right, so, Leanne, come on here. Let's have you sit right here. <clears throat> So at this point, she's checked in. She signed consent. Um, I've already taken her vital signs. Everything's good. Checked her medications. Checked for allergies. And she knows why she is coming today. Okay? So um, let's say that we're going to be removing a cyst up here on your um, vastus lateralis up here. Okay? So at this point, I'm coming in, right? And I'm telling, okay, um, Ms. Leanne, can you verify your name and date of birth, please? Leanne Whaley, 41692. Okay. So, um... Ms. Newman is going to be your medical assistant today. I'm going to be doing the procedure. We're going to be removing a mole that looks kind of funny on your right vastus lateralis. Is that correct? Okay. Yeah. Okay. They have to confirm that it's the right, you know, limb just to make sure. So we're going to have you lie on your back, please. Okay. And you also have to tell me what position it is. What position is she in? Supine. Supine. <clears throat> okay. We're going to make her nice and comfortable. At this point... I'm going to leave, right? Miss Newman is going to drape our patient. She's going to clean off our patient with the germicide and prepare her skin, 
Okay, make her feel nice and comfortable. And at this point, she's only gonna get local anesthetic because we're doing it in our ambulatory care center, right? So we can only use local anesthetic. So Ms. Newman is going to prep the skin and everything, and then she's gonna say, all right, Dr. Lemus, she's ready to go, let's do it, okay? <clears throat> Two, I come in. No. Mm -mm. I can, I can so this has already been used, except for the um, lidocaine. So we're gonna put this over here. I'm going to come in and just say, all right, Leanne, you ready to do this? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my gloves. Miss Newman is not going to put on her gloves yet because I need her to help me do something first. I'm just there to remove the mold and that's it. That's my job. Miss Newman's job, MA, is to do everything else for me. <laughs> Patient have to undress, and we really do have to. No. Okay. No. Mm -mm. And then we will tell you. <laughs> um, we will tell you what um, we're removing, and you'll have to guess what position to put it in. Okay. Oh. Yay. Yes. All right. Go ahead. So Ms. Newman is going to lift the towel. Okay. I can only touch the items on here. She cannot yet. Okay. So I need anesthetic, please. She's going to do that for me. I'm going to. Draw up, right? Okay, put that back. <clears throat> At this point now, she can go ahead and start gloving up because I'm going to start anesthetizing my patient. And I can touch everything else here. So you're going to feel a little quick, okay? I'm going to anesthetize her. Do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to put the drape on her. Fenestrate it. I get very creative, don't you? Mm -hmm. But the they're already made like this. Yes. That's the... Fenestrated drink. Okay. These I'm just going to put on the side just in case. These towels, they're not just here for base. They're also, if she has uncontrollable bleeding, not only do I have the gauze, but I have the towels to be able to control the bleeding if I need to. So you always have to be uh, prepared for the unexpected. We don't know how she's going to react. She can go into full blown like uh, cardiac arrest. We don't know. Okay, that's why they take a complete patient history to see that if she's okay to have a minor procedure. Okay, there's some patients that cannot. So we're just gonna put these over here. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Get in there. All right, scalpel. So when you're handing these items, the handle that I use has to be facing me. Okay, and also she has to be careful because there's going to be a blade right here, so she has to be cautious. So we're going to cut. Um, Alice tissue, please. And uh, scissors. So on the comp, who's going to be handing? We're going to be handing you. You're going to be mm -hmm. doctor. Either Miss Newman or I. Okay. So she needs to know her instruments. If I say Alice tissue and she gives me something else, I'm going to look at her like, no, mm -hmm. right. not what I want. Okay. Right. So I'm going to pretend like I'm cutting the mole. Okay, we're going to take it out. Put it there, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, suture material, please. And your doctors are not nice. They just throw everything. Mm -hmm. They don't care in what order it was or that you took 30 minutes to set mm -hmm. up this tray. They don't care. So I'm going to okay. be resetting them up as he's doing the yeah. surgery. <laughs> There's usually a container for the specimen to go in? Yes, but you don't worry about that because this is sterile and that's non-sterile. So you do it until we're done, okay? So some physicians like the MA to put the needle on the needle holder and some doctors, they like to do it themselves, okay? So I'm not gonna take it out all the way, but we're gonna start to prepare her and do sutures, scissors please, cut, okay? All right, go ahead and uh, dress her wound and then give her post-care instructions and then she'll be done, okay? All right, Leanne, everything came out. Um, okay. Ms. Newman is gonna give you post-care instructions how to take care of your wound. Okay, and then you're ready to go and you can make an appointment. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So I leave at this point. Doctor leaves and she's taking care of my patient now, cleaning up any blood, making it look nice and pretty, putting a pressure dressing, and also while she's doing that, she can multitask and be telling, okay, Leanne, uh, make sure you don't wash it for the rest of the day. Tomorrow you can wash it with regular soap and water. Here's the ointment that you can apply every day um, after you know two days of putting the ointment, and you can just let it be, let it dry on its own. <coughs> and then we'll see you in a week to get the sutures out. Okay. And that's 
Is this going to be the same scenario, or are you going to make stuff up as you go yeah. along? So we're going to have to know your post op instructions. Uh, the post op instructions will probably be the same, but okay. um, she missed we it. Might... You got to print some out. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I um, figured that, but I, I mean, we've been through this before, and yeah. I just wanted to know if it's going to be like. <laughs> <coughs> no, but we won't always be the nicest doctors. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> we might not just go in order from like, okay, no. cut, remove, um, okay. suture back up. I might have some bleeding and need you to yeah. step in and yell at you. And most of our job at this point, while we're cutting, I mean, obviously this was very spectational, right? I'm just doing everything, she's not bleeding. But during the whole process, Ms. Newman would be here dabbing, 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 making sure she clears my field. With the, holding it with the thing, though, right? No, nope, she doesn't hand. have to with her hand. She's sterile gloves, so she would just be uh, dabbing, dabbing, making sure that I have a clear view of what I'm removing. Okay. That's our job. And you'll hear doctors say, dab, dab, more bleeding, or dab. control the bleeding. And that's what you're doing. You're just kind of, and when you start working with someone that's doing this, you know, per, you know, very often, you already know. They don't even have to tell you. You're just like, okay, here, here, here. And your job is to be there to assist, but stay out of their way so that they can remove whatever they need to remove and then move on. Okay. You know how like <coughs> you just like put the mole, you're like whatever here, like that. Leanne, you can go ahead and get up. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, she didn't want to. She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> So once the patient, this is this is what it looks like. It's a mess after. Okay, mm -hmm. she leaves. Now Miss Newman has to come in here, get all of the things, and be very careful. She needs to put her sharps in her sharps container. She needs to take her scalpel blade off the scalpel, put it into the sharps. Now she can take all of the instruments and go put them in the bath. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to want to do it with gloves. You can wear regular gloves at this point. She can, yeah, she can put ones? some other gloves. No, her <coughs> sterile gloves are not going to be on anymore. Yeah, she's going to be saying. checking out the patient. But when you're dealing with all that on the table, yeah, you're they don't have to be sterile gloves. anymore. Yeah, but, they don't, regular, but you do have to regular. wear gloves because yeah. there's going to be blood on the items. Right. So now she can get the little biopsy or whatever mole and she can put it into the cup and then she could do the paperwork later and then go clean up her room. So, so are you watching us do all that, or at once it's done? So this, the so the first step was preparing all of your supplies. Mm -hmm. Second step is setting up your sterile field and dropping your items and mm -hmm. covering it. Right. Mm -hmm. third, third step, step would be assisting step. with the physician, and fourth step would be post-op care instructions and wound dressing. Oh. Do you do with your suture needle? Suture needle also goes into the sharps container. Yeah. Okay.